Let's talk new and used vehicles across all makes and manufacturers. So I get to see a bit of that right here because we've got a whole lot of used vehicles and used vehicle inventory is going up. It's gonna to continue to go up and this is gonna be part of the reason why used prices are actually gonna be coming down. They've already come down at auction. We'll cover by segment how much they've dropped, but the drops compared to a year ago at what these vehicles, used vehicles are selling at auction are actually considerable. So used prices, if they haven't gone down in your area, they're going to need to be coming down soon, especially when you consider the 13.9% average interest rate in the US. So that's a little over 13.7% average interest rate that people are paying for their used vehicles. And actually new sales are up and with with new sales being up, this is definitely gonna cause a change in the market because selling more new vehicles means more trade-ins coming in. And well, I've never seen, I've rarely seen the used lot here this full. And this is gonna become more apparent in across different regions. Used inventory is definitely going up. So a great, great news if you're shopping a used vehicle, you're gonna be able to buy a used vehicle already. They're selling, smart dealers are adjusting their prices based to the new prices that vehicles are selling at auction. They base their trade-ins based on that auction selling price, lets them know how much they should pay for their vehicle. So smart dealers are already, have already been lowering their used prices for the last three, four months as used prices at dealers that are still asking you know, prices from a year ago, they need to be adjusted. Just like on the new side of things, the great news is smart dealers are no longer charging any markup. Smart dealers don't have dealer fees and there are more incentives and rebates on new vehicles. Prices have actually come down considerably on new vehicles, especially when you consider inflation's been at 7% for the US market and well, prices have barely rose on new vehicles. Now let's talk a bit about that data. So here's the data. New sales are up 19% compared to a year ago. That means there's gonna be a lot more trade-ins coming in because the predicted overall sales for 2023 are predicted to be considerably higher than they were for 2022. But used sales are predicted to go down by 2% compared to a year ago. So 2023 sales of used vehicles compared to 2022, we're expecting Cox Auto Automotive is expecting a 2% decrease, but there's what, 19% increase on the new vehicles. Those new vehicles have trade-ins, and this means you will see prices on used vehicles go down, and they need to because, well, inventory is gonna go up, Interest rates are high and that's gonna slow down uh, some buyers. Sales on the used are gonna go down by, well, 2% according to Cox Automotive, but with extra inventory, dealers are gonna be motivated to move that metal because dealers pay interest rate, they pay interest on the used vehicles. So you can see quite a few behind me. There, I've never rarely seen the yard this full of used vehicles. Uh, now this dealer has been dropping their prices. They've been adjusting their prices according to auction prices. That means if you're looking to buy a new vehicle, now is actually an excellent, excellent time because while there's rebates, they've been going on for the last three, four months, every month we've been seeing better rebates, better interest rates on the new vehicles but eventually your trade value is going to drop. Now, used vehicles are still higher than they historically should be, higher than the average. And this means that your trade-in has been getting paid more summer 2020, summer 2022, significantly more, about 40% more than the historical average, but those numbers are still high. But with inventory going up, it's only logical to assume, and winter coming right around the corner, trade-in prices are going to drop in a couple of months. So if you've got a trade-in that's worth some money, I do recommend that you look to buy a new vehicle or if you, whether it's a new or a used vehicle you're looking for, I'd say buy now because interest rates could go up and even if they stay at the same amount, 
Well, inventory is going to go up. So your trade in value is going down soon. So you need to jump in and take advantage of the higher trade in value that you've got going for you right now and take advantage of those incentives on new vehicles, which, you know, at Ford, it's a good mix of either very advantageous rebates and interest rates that are, you know, paid for because they're lower than what the bank would be offering of about 10%. So that's why I'd say you should jump in because your trade now still has a really still an inflated value to it. Dealers are going to pay more for your trade. That, that's not going to be the case in three, four months. Now, if you don't have a trade in whatsoever, well, maybe you consider getting a used vehicle in two months from now. I don't expect you, new prices to come down by that much much more because well they're going to need to adjust and pay for that inflation now when inflation's at seven percent that means the manufacturer they've got to absorb that seven percent if they keep the price at the same price so if in 12 months from now the prices for new vehicles are identical to what they are now the manufacturer is losing seven percent i don't expect a huge price decrease when it comes to new vehicles especially when all the indicators from cox automotive are looking at a good a very strong sales year for 2023 new, so vehicles. new sales are expected to be at an increase of 19% for 2023 versus 2022. So it's gonna be a good sales year for new vehicles. But the reason prices have come down is because inventory has gone up. Across all makes and manufacturers, you've got an average of 53 days of inventory. That means vehicles, from the time they arrive to the dealership to the time they get sold, on average, it takes 53 days. Manufa dealers have to pay interest on their vehicles they've got so dealers are more motivated now to make deals and that's why dealers shouldn't be charging markups or dealer fees so do avoid paying markups or dealer fees when you go to buy look online build the vehicle online and see how much that vehicle costs now a really affordable vehicle that i really appreciate these days for the price the drive the quality is the ford maverick like and subscribe because i'm going to be coming out with important production information about production numbers production uh, the constraints and if you can actually get a 2024 hybrid if you order one now in an upcoming video so you'll want to subscribe and hit the bell notification to not miss that now inventory numbers are actually to be precise at 56 days of inventory so manufacturers have inventory and at Stellantis they're in a bad situation because they're every single Stellantis brand is over 100 days sitting in inventory so they are very motivated to make that move or they should be now inventory overall is 71 percent higher than it was a year ago that means there's more than 800,000 units extra units sitting around in 2023 beginning end of July 2023 versus July 2022 now that extra inventory means bigger rebates now is a good time to buy a new vehicle now now for days of supply that means how many days it takes to sell the vehicles those that's up 39% compared to a year ago another reason dealers want to move these vehicles they pay interest on these vehicles so do expect a nice rebate now sales are up 24% from a year ago so July 2023 versus 24 we don't have August numbers yet even though we're near the end of August but those sales numbers are up 24 percent now the average listing price of a vehicle on the market is actually at 47,048 us dollars and that's actually down 0.9 percent from a year ago but when you when you consider inflation has been at seven percent over a 12-month period it's as if prices are 7.9 percent lower and that's why i don't expect prices to come down that much more because already compared to a year ago manufacturers are absorbing 7.9 percent loss well, loss compared to a year ago they're less profitable than what they were a year ago inflation's gone up seven percent average prices have come down 0.9 percent that's helped out by the incentives and the fact that prices uh, aren't 
continuing to increase dramatically on the window sticker, the MSRP. MSRP prices are pretty stagnant. They're not moving. They're not going up anymore and we're getting incentives. That's why we're going to get a 15% sales bump on new sales. So even though sales are really good, it's still a really good time to get a deal. Lots of trade-ins coming in and this means that we're going to see what? We're going to see prices drop on the used market, but you're also going to get less for your trade. And we're not going to see much more drop on the new vehicle. So I highly recommend going out and getting your new or used vehicle right now, especially if you have a trade-in. However, if you have got no trade-in, nothing to trade in, and you're looking for a used vehicle, you might get a bit better deal in two or three months. Actually, what's been going on has actually been pretty historic because in July, the average transaction price paid, that's price people are paying, only rose 0.4% compared to a year ago. And that's the smallest year over year price increase in the last decade. And since, well, the start of the year, transaction prices are down 2.7%. So that's an or $1,335 on average. And that's the largest January to July fall in price, decrease in price in the past decade. So we've got some actually pretty historic stuff coming down, coming down, which helps support everything I'm saying. Prices on the new can't come down that much more when you've got inflation at 7% for the year. But prices have been coming down. They don't have that much space or room to drop. And actually in the last, 10 months so july well incentives increased for the 10th consecutive month i should say because in july it was at the highest level since october 2021 and that's averaging 2148 dollars in rebate per vehicle so not a ton of room for prices to come that much more down so i think right now is really the time to buy now inventory across all the manufacturers is actually starting to become more like it was a little more normal not quite where it was back in 2018 2019 but let's look at the numbers Stellantis all the Stellantis vehicles so you've got Dodge Ram Jeep Jaguar and Chrysler all have over a hundred days of inventory Buick just under 100 days. Lincoln, just around 90 days. You've got Audi at about 80 days. Ford, just under 80 days. And you go all the way down to Toyota, playing around 30 days of inventory. Well, it lets you know where you can get a good deal. So manufacturers that have very low dealer inventory, so that would be Honda, Toyota, Kia, Subaru, Lexus, BMW, Hyundai, and Land Rover don't expect a huge deal out of them because they're all under 40 days of inventory. Cadillac, just over 40 days of inventory. So I wouldn't expect a huge rebate out of Cadillac. Volkswagen, Acura, Nissan, Mitsubishi, Mazda, and Porsche all sitting around 45 to 60 days of inventory. So you may or may not get incentives from them. But when you're looking at Mercedes-Benz, GMC, Ford, Mini, Genesis, Audi, Lincoln, you'll, you should all get a rebate or an advantageous interest rate out of all those manufacturers. So good places to get good deals. Now, the company with the highest inventory, well, the two companies with the highest inventory Jaguar and Chrysler well I wonder if their inventory issue has less to do with rebates because they are offering rebates Jeep as well Ram as well huge amount of days in inventory huge rebates that you can get over at Jeep and Ram but even with huge rebates they're still not selling enough of them so that's my concern I'd worry out of those companies worry that there's maybe another reason why their days in inventory is rather high when we're having a great sales year. So if you do get one of those vehicles, keep two, keep two things in mind. Long-term reliability might be an issue. If you do get one of those vehicles, uh, a, a model from one of those manufacturers, do expect a huge hefty rebate. They need to, to get them moved off the now, lot. I'm certain that used prices are going to go down because, well, 
they're down at the auction by 10% compared to a year ago. This is a sign that used prices are gonna go down. Also, a year ago, prices were inflated on used vehicles by about 43%. And if you watch the mon this Monday's live, I'll show you on a graph from Cox Automotive, prices skyrocketed as inventory went down for both new and used vehicles. Sprite prices skyrocketed as inventory went down, prices went up. But now inventory's gone up and prices have gone down, but the used market really hasn't adjusted that much. And we're gonna see a big adjustment coming up in the next two to three months. Take my word for it, folks. I'm here to help. So I hope this advice has been really helpful. Catch us Monday nights on our lives and do hit that subscribe and like button and the bell notification to not miss out on important auto news to help save you thousands. So I'm Johnny from Johnny's Car Care and Reviews. If you made it this far in the video, I came in from outside, it was too noisy, but if you made it this far, please hit the like and subscribe and drop a comment, finisher, if you made it this far. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, everybody.